Writing characters that are unlike yourself is a really powerful kind of empathy machine. When I write Steve Rogers, you have to write that soaring rhetoric and it, it has to come from somewhere very hopeful because Steve is the best of us and he believes in the best of you. And it changes you when you write characters that think in different ways. Well, what would Clint Barton do? What is Monica Rambeau thinking in this scenario? Not what do I need her to do as a plot device? We get to the same destination, but we get there with a more human you know, element. Characters that have loved and have lost and all this kind of stuff. And if you get into that role, you walk away with a little bit of a, you know, like a head switch. It's kind of cool.